Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Small Space Farming and this episode I am calling Stupid Bloody Plant Disease and Insects because it has been a really tough last 10 days um, on top of the 115 degree heat that Tucson has enjoyed. We have found a whole bunch of different fungus and bacterial infections in different plants. It just came on all of a sudden. So I was out here in the weather trying to figure out what to do because you have to remember that again, Hanny and I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> this is a grand experiment. So we're learning as we grow. We grow as we learn how to do or take care of our plants. So it's been discouraging, but we can't give up because that's just part of any new experiment is the ups and downs. So to start with, um, what has happened is that in the greenhouse, I'm just, let me back up. I am going to take each section of our gardens and share what happened and then um, record it for you so you can see that. So um, in the greenhouse, um, what happened? In these raised garden beds, we had squash, zucchini, some bean plants, although they never did well because the squash and zucchini just took up so much space. Um, and then in this garden bed, I had cucumber plants. And as you can see, it all looks pretty decimated. So what happened, I believe, is powdered mildew. That's a fungal disease and um, it spreads through the wind, your tools, gloves. Insects can um, bring it from one plant to the next. Uh, and it, it just spreads really fast in plants like cucumbers and squash with the big leaves and mint also are highly susceptible. It is odd that it came right in the middle of this high heat. So I'm not sure what's going on about that and not 100% positive that's what I had, although it looked like that. Um, how I've been figuring this out is I have an app called Picture This. Picture this is pretty cool. You take a picture of the plant and it tells you what the plant is and it tells you what's going on with it. I'm gonna be later installing another app and I'm gonna test what it says compared to what Picture This has been telling me. Because I don't know these things, I'm learning as I'm going and um, that's my resource. So um, once I read that it was a mildew. What I did is I cut down a bunch of the plants and I sprayed everything with neem oil. One little branch has lived so far and I am just babying it as much as I can. Um, but what I'll be doing today is um, pulling everything else that's dead around it and over here and um, cleaning it out. And what you have to do is after that, when it's totally empty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put plastic on top of it and let it get really heated up inside these raised boxes so it can kill any other spores that might be hanging out there because I don't want this coming back next year when I try to plant anything with big leaves here. So I may even avoid using these raised boxes for um, these kinds of plants for a while. Um, I um, th then went and found in my herb garden several plants that um, had other things going on. So let me stop this video and move over there.